Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10, what, 10.30? 10. 10. It's, I get all confused. 10 o'clock Mountain Time, and we t show you things that we got for free or next to free and turn them into home decor. Some things we sell in our shop at Jamie Ray Vintage or our little boutique here in Lehigh. Um, and some things we just keep for home. And this is a project brought to you by Zeb. Yep, so we had some rulers. We, uh, we made a stencil ruler um 36 inches on this and it's a lot of fun to make kind of like an antique looking ruler this is an old one that's been cut down and it's got fun stuff on the back too well we're going to use some stencils to make it look like an antique ruler and i've also used the actual ruler these are just so these we got in the paint section down at home depot obviously you can see the orange i left this one so you can see how it looks uh it took me about 30 seconds with some 80 grit sandpaper to make it look like this. It's already cut to the perfect 36 inches and nice width on there and thickness. And I don't have to mess around with, you know, trying to cut it down. It was a dollar, I think for these, like 98 cents. Yeah, pretty inexpensive. You can also pick up these three pack of rulers for um, 98 cents. And I guess I said that this was brought to you by Zeb. Zeb made the box. I actually was the one that I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, those would be perfect because I'm obsessed with antique rulers. We actually have one. Where's have our antique right Oh, that's our antique <laughs> ruler. I have a couple um, more in the garage. We're, yeah. we're, we're starting to get a collection of them. We're starting to get a collection of them, but they're kind of hard to find. Some of them are kind of expensive. And so on our last stencil release, we designed a yardstick um, ruler. And I was kind of trying to figure out, like, how are we going to be able to use that with, a, like, finding wood that's thin enough? And these big stir sticks are perfect. You can sometimes get these for free at the hardware store, but I actually like the three pack for 98 cents because they don't have anything on them. So you don't have to sand it off. Um, and they're a little bit longer. So they're kind of the perfect size for a like just 12 inch ruler. So I also made this, this is just like quarter inch hardboard, hardboard on the bottom. And I use these to repair drawers and stuff. I had some ends and scraps that were kind of too small for drawers. So I cut this. This is one ruler cut down. One yardstick? Or really? one yardstick, yeah. Okay, and you sanded that off, right? Yep, I sanded it before I cut it, and then it's just cut down, and I made the bottom to fit. I only glued this on. I'm going to show you how I do that while Jamie starts painting stuff up and getting ready to do what she wants on her uh, rulers. But, I, you know, we got two crafts coming. We got rulers and small little trays. You could make a bigger tray. I mean, this is 36 inches. Just get a couple extra yardsticks. But I wanted to show you what you could do with one. That's really cute. So Renee's on here. She said happy birthday. And then- um, It's Jamie's birthday today. It is, I'm 39 today. Last uh, year of her 30s. She's in her <laughs> 40th year now. I am. You know what, middle age is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> in my 20s, I was pretty confident, but kind of naive. And I feel like I'm still confident, but maybe less naive. I don't know. Oh, I'm look, happy with I didn't I know am. these have the ruler on them. I'm going to go sand that off really fast. It's oh, just like yeah, white. Oh, the inside. It's just, you can, oh, you can, you're not even going to see that. See it's super it. faint. All right, so I'm gonna go sand these down real fast. I'll be right back. They said they didn't know I was working on my birthday. So we went live yesterday so we wouldn't have to work all day on my birthday. Um, we can't miss Waste Not Wednesday. Like, this is fun. This isn't really work. Yeah, let me show you. This is what I would do even if the camera wasn't rolling. I like to do stuff like this. Let me show you so that okay. you don't mess up the chat and accidentally select it and do things. So I'm right over here, two fingers. So scroll up and down if there's something to scroll. Oh, now we got to scroll. I just like to use one finger, though. You have to use two. You know what? For my birthday, can we get a mouse? I have a mouse on the side. Last time we used it, you had one. That would be fantastic if it worked. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this painted. So Zeb, I don't know if he told you this. I was trying to listen, but got distracted by comments. He did not clamp this or nail it. He literally just used wood glue and then let it set up for about 30 minutes. In a couple of hours, this is going to get super, super hard. If you were worried about it, you could clamp it. But wood glue, once it dries all the way, it's just a really strong connection. It actually bonds the fibers of the wood. So a lot of people think that the nails or screws when you build something are what holds it together. But if you use wood glue, the nails and screws are usually just there to hold the glue together. In fact, we've had nail and screw repairs break and the wood repair where it was just glued hold together. It's it's really weird. Yep. So, so paint that careful because I just glued that up about 15 minutes okay. ago. Oh, so it's not been half an hour. Can you open that? No, it hasn't been quite half an hour. But if you're careful with it, it's probably, it's probably been 15, 20 minutes. Caitlin says, I do need a mouse. 
Kaylin is the Amazon ordering queen, so maybe I a mouse, have maybe one. a mouse will just appear for me. I have. I would one. like pink. Please. It's in the bag over there. <laughs> but is it pink? Is there a mouse pad? It's not pink. <laughs> I don't know that we should run a mouse on this situation. Yeah. I could run it on that. Are you gonna make another one and show them how you did it? Yep. So now we're gonna make one. I have the pieces to make the little tray tote whatever you want it's like stepped and out just like when we do live tv so for you, the news stations so yeah so you know um some like you see them live you go on pinterest look up like ruler toad or uh tray or whatever and they'll actually use like a ton of old rulers which when i see that i'm like oh don't cut the old rulers i know they're so pretty but this is like a quick easy way that you can just make your own yard sticks and not have to worry about like ruining an antique ruler that's got like really cool old advertisement or something on it. We cut up antiques all the time and we're worried about cutting up rulers. That's things, a little bit hilarious to some me. Some things you don't mess up, all right. <laughs> okay, so, so we're using, just using glue here. Oh, I'm using a little black dress, guys. So I just wanna tell you before we get questions about what color. Um, and I'm using my Klingon F30. When I'm painting flat surfaces, I really do like these brushes okay, and they so clean up really well. Just a, uh, you, it's bright, you can't hardly see it. Little thin piece of glue, thin strip of glue, piece of glue, strip of glue right there. And then I'm just gonna set it on. And then. Caitlin, a mouse almost the color of our logo would be fantastic. I actually don't have a favorite color. Caitlin, I like don't buy her a mouse. I literally have a wireless mouse in the bag over there. <laughs> But what color is it? It's black and gray, and it goes with my my computer that I already have that I use. I thought that the MacBook was mine. You don't like you tried using it for a day, and you're like, "All right, I hate computers. Where's my phone?" I know. I just use my phone a lot because I'm always on the run, and I literally I do 95 percent of my business on my phone. And it, people make fun of me because I always get the newest iPhone every year. But that's because by the time the new iPhone comes out, my phone is toast because I've used it for so many things. I get really mad when I'm on a website and it doesn't work well on the phone. Little strip of glue here to hang on to this edge. I keep calling it a strip of glue. It's like a bead of glue, whatever. Denise says I can't use the track on the I, the pad either. She has to use the mouse. My it's car- also because she drags her palm and yeah. it just ruins her life. <laughs> My car has like this track thing to like run the screen on it and I can't do that either. It's okay. We'll, Technology sometimes is wasted we'll on me because out. it's complicated and I just want to be old school. All right. So this one gets three edges glued. We're just going to slide it in here. Whoops. Knock that side over. It's okay. The glue hasn't set yet. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's even along all the edges. Just fill with my finger. Wipe off any big beads that squished out. Uh, super chat from Leslie for a new mouse for my birthday. Now, oh. Caitlin, now Caitlin has to. Thanks, Leslie. All right. All right. And Leslie. by the way, Leslie, you're getting pretty darn good with your messy bun. If you guys missed it, I did a tutorial yesterday, which is kind of hilarious because I'm definitely not a beauty blogger on how I do my makeup and uh, messy bun. And I actually put it uh, in stories, but on my feed. But if you're only on YouTube and not Facebook or Instagram, I did put it on my YouTube stories. I'm trying to get better at using YouTube stories because I know a lot of you guys don't go on Facebook or Instagram. So I'm trying to put more stuff in YouTube. YouTube just isn't as like easy to use, I don't think, as some of the other platforms. But, all right, one more side to go. And all of my uh, kids are back in school, except for Harrington, he's 19. He has decided he wants to be an electrical lineman. Yeah. So he's going to go to school, I guess, in the summer is when that starts. Yeah, he's going to go to trade school he's next gonna go summer. going to go to trade school, which we're super excited about. Um, and right now he's just working, but everybody else is back in school. All right. So you just let this sit for probably about 10, 15 minutes, and then you can start working with it if you're careful. If you, if you, you could clamp it. I honestly think that you don't need to. Oh, Zeb's using a glue bot. We buy glue by the gallon. Um, and you can get these on Amazon or your local hardware stores. We actually have a wood store here. What's yeah, it called? we got a specialty wood shop. I it's it's in Orem. I can't remember now. Just There's... look up specialty wood shop in Orem, and you can find it. I wish I knew their name because I like to support small business, but that's where ours is from. They have lots of fun stuff. But if you don't have a wood store near you, um, then you can pick these up on Amazon as well. And yeah. I think Zeb has a link to them like in every description. So if you yeah, go to the description box, I did, box, but the link down. expired. It's not good anymore. Oh, so. okay. Well, we'll throw it up there later for you guys. Um, let's see. 
just seeing if there's any questions. I'm looking it up for you right now. Is it Timberline? Yes. Yes, it's it is Timberline. Timberline. Thanks, Caitlin. I'm using my mug, by the way, that I got from Jen Dune from Rustic Rehabs. She sent it to me from my birthday. It says messy bun and getting it done. My hair is down today, but that's only because on my birthday, Zeb takes care of breakfast and getting the kids out the door. He even set up the live. So I literally had nothing to do. So I was like, well. She was like bored. So she's like playing with her makeup and doing her hair. <laughs> I'm wearing way more makeup than I normally do. It still only <laughs> took me like 30 minutes because after 30 minutes, I literally run out of things to do to my face and hair. <laughs> All right. So I've got these little ones. I'm going to start this, stenciling. This is drying. I'm going to leave this one just those? plain wood. You can paint a couple it. if you want. Oh, did you, do you have dark and decrepit? Can you cut these ends off for me? I don't want to. I was like, just going to leave them a handle. I think it's kind of cool, but I can okay. cut the ends off. I mean, off if you, you want to beat people, I mean, they're just, like swatting you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> More swats. It's I'm my birthday. I'm not hurting him. Zeb has a tough tush. It runs in their family. Let me tell you a story. What? There's a story. Picture it. <laughs> Picture it. Granddad Ray. <laughs> At what year was this? Like 1985. Grandma's sewing. She leaves a needle on the chair. Granddad sits on it doesn't realize the needle has gone into his butt. And then like how many days later he has like a really sore tush and like a red spot, like from an infection. So then he goes into the doctor, they do an x-ray and what do they find in his bum? A needle. And so ever it's after like that, all the way in, <laughs> we tease all the Ray men about having a numb butt because it's hereditary. Like how do you not feel a needle going? I mean, it's probably because he had blood circulation. Um, I don't know because he had a heart problem, but anyways, it's kind of a family joke. So now if you ever hear me say numb butt, now you know the story. Okay, we're gonna make these 16 inch rulers. Here, paint, paint this one. Or dark and decrepit it. I don't know if we have dark and decrepit. You might have to just water down some paint real quick. <laughs> Joanne said, what a P-I-T-A. You don't think we have dark and decrepit? Is there old and gray? I think there's old and gray in there. Um, I'm looking. But the problem is I have black paint over here, so I don't really want to pull this because I'm, I guess, oh, are we not doing the side that says Home Depot? We're just going to I'm going to, I forgot to sand that one. All right, we'll sand it later. Deb says that's a hilarious story. It's, it's a true story. You can't make this kind of stuff up. So I'm not finding any gold and gray. Ooh, Robin, it's her birthday too. Happy birthday, Robin. Um, She's gone to the dump. Hey, did you get a pop? Because you got to get a soda when you go to the dump or your favorite beverage. She says she's now returning pop cans. That's fun. I like to find stuff and take it to the scrap metal yard. It makes me very happy. Here, just water down some of this and I'll get you a little bowl. Give me a cup. Or something. All right. I just I can wash off this brush or do you want me to just use this one? Or you can just use a black brush and you don't have to okay, use so that Okay, so this is all. prairie gray. I don't really want to do a black stain. So you can make your own faux stains. Um, I like the dark and decrepit or, because it has a built-in So this is just a little splash of water here. I'm going to go cut these down to okay. 16 inches. They're going to be 16 inch rulers because 18 inches gets it into the handle part. Yeah, I'm just using a little bit of prairie gray and I'm just mixing it up with the water. I'm sure this is not like a new technique shown to you guys, but I'm going to just put it on here and gray out my ruler. So if you ever have just a little bit of paint left down in the bottom of your can, don't get rid of it. Fill it up with water, shake it around, make yourself some stain, put your lid on it, and you'll be ready for another project. I'll show this up close to you so you guys can see the grayed out stain look. You guys tell, I don't know if you can see the difference. Oh, he only sanded one side. Well, that's not really gonna help. Hold on guys, I'm coming. I'm coming. So this is uh, the difference. So we've got the grayed out stain and then the regular without stain. I think I might need to add a little bit more paint. I want this to be a little bit darker. All right, zip the handle off. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black, I think. Well, so this. look how dark, this is natural wood and look how dark it is. Just yeah. Show them close while you're I just, oh yeah, now we're real nice and dark. So you can see the antique one here. Oops next to the faux stain. And then this is how light it was before she threw that on there. So. All right, so I'm going to. All right, yep, this is a lot darker. Might have to wipe that I will. 
So I just added like a hint of little black dress. You don't need, when you're making a faux stain out of DIY paint, you really don't need much paint because it's so pigmented. It's like a 10 or 20 to one ratio. Where's, what? We need to grab the sock box and bring that down here. We have all the best. When you have eight people in a house, you have a lot of. go to die in honor. Well, Zeb is always complaining. I couldn't find any socks. I'm like, have you checked the sock box? No, I want somebody else to match them for me. Well, that doesn't happen around here. Maybe if you had a more subservient wife that wanted to match your socks, but that's not who you marry. Hold on, you got... I'm tip my head back and laugh at that entire statement. <laughs> After 20 years, you know. You know how I roll. Okay. The first birthday we celebrated together was actually Zeb's 18th birthday. We've been dating a few months. His been parents. Dating like a month. <sighs> Your birthday's in November. Oh, yeah. So about a month. Um, and that's actually the day that we became like an official couple because I sent, I gave you a yes or no letter and you checked yes. Well, see, here's the story. I asked her if she wanted to be my girlfriend and she thought I was kidding and she said no. No, I was just being sarcastic. I was not kidding. And I did not pick up her sarcasm because back in the day, she didn't deliver it quite so well. And so, you know, I was just like, all right, and I stopped calling. That is not how it went down. I said, I, the, it, my exact words were, I'll have to think about it. How do you not see the sarcasm in that? Like, obviously, I was in love with you. So he didn't ask again. And three weeks later, I had to send him a check yes or no box. I also bought him a very nice watch because his parents had recently moved down to Tucson and hadn't really... I'd given him anything for his I birthday. On my 18th birthday it's fine. Look, there's paint all over this. We'll have to sand it. Yeah, it'll get sanded. Anyways, so I was like, oh, they didn't buy you anything for your, thing for your 18th birthday. So I went and I bought him a watch at that store at the mall. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like the only nice store in town. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, we I lived in a very small town. Well, we lived in a tri city area, but still very small. All right, are you putting the. Yeah. I'm probably ready to stencil, so I'm just going to pass this your way. So I'm going to get the numbers on here, and then I have, you want to show them some of those maybe up close so they yeah. can see them? We've got a bunch of, like, crotch, and I think some of the little labeling and words would be fun on, on these. So I'm sure you guys have seen us use these a million times. We have the grain sack minis and the crock minis, and they have labeling, some in French, some in English, um, and they work really, really good. This one you probably can't see as well because we haven't used it yet. Um, but they work, we like to leave the paint on because we feel like it shows the stencil off better. We don't clean our stencils on purpose. Um, but it shows all the different like branding and stuff like that. So maybe we'll have to come out with some, a ruler mini pack that has like a bunch of ruler names on it. You can also use, if you want to make your own name, we have the, oops, this one, we've cut off the numbers. We've got the farmhouse. What are these, the farmhouse letters? Yeah. And they're one inch all on one sheet. And so then you can make it say anything that you want. We have stenciling and offloading over here. It's super exciting. It is very exciting. Oh, I was going to get the heat gun. I got distracted. Okay. So A lot of people ask us like, what's the best stencil brush to use? And really, if you're going to be doing a small detail or skinny, the smaller the brush, the easier it is to get it right. So it just depends on how small the stencil is. I'm just heat gunning the inside of this box so I can stencil it. I like to use uh, black and white for stenciling because it just looks like an old chalkboard and it's kind of just my favorite thing. Tell Zeb to turn his mic back on. Is that oh, was your... yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I went out and ran the saw and didn't turn it on. Is that better? Did they hear anything that you said? Yeah, if I'm close to you. Sorry, I'm not, guys. I'm not saying anything wildly awesome in an, anyway. In so. an effort to have better sound, sometimes we make it worse. Well, so I went outside and used the saw. And I, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we try to make the sound better, and then inevitably we always forget to turn our mic back on. And I'm always, I'm trying not to just always just read comments because it distracts me, but um, then I forget. So the white on the darker background is looking awesome. You can see this is going to dry up a little lighter, and we'll probably wax these. 
not because they need to be wax. You could go without sealing these at all. They're just going to be rulers, right? But maybe if you're using this tray or something, you might want to. Oh, that's cute because then you could just put like the logo on the end. Is that what you're going to do? No, that's going to continue. It's made to be 16 inches. Oh, okay. Yeah, not all rulers are like we have some rulers. This one Where, here stops at 18. Where's the big one we picked up the other day? I have it outside. Oh. I can, in go your grab antique, it. I can go grab it and show In your them. antique tool collection. All right. I think I'm going to do this one. I really love this I one. I actually too. used it yesterday to cut some stuff up. Did you know that the stencil fits perfectly inside here? I didn't plan that, but I you like that. You could not have planned it better like if that. you tried. Sometimes the best things aren't really that planned out. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not a huge planner. Here, let me make sure this is correct. Yeah, it's centered. So on your end one, when you go to do your last one, the stencil was based, we did it based off of like an old school stencil. Don't do the number, like if it ends on 16 or 36 or whatever. I'm gonna show you on this one here. So everything's down in the middle, right? Middle, 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 middle. And then this one on the 36 is pushed over to the edge. I'm doing the Melissa Morrow swirl method. Cats and dogs everywhere say thank you because I'm not pouncing and sounding like the front door is knocking. I've had so many comments. My my cat thought there was somebody at the door. My dog thought there was something at the door because we were pouncing from stenciling. It doesn't work in every stencil application. Sometimes you still have to pounce. But in this case, it's going to work. I'm using the smallest brush. So this is the 3 8 brush. I had one of our retailers that carries our stencil brushes say, oh my gosh, those brushes are so pretty. I mean, they're utilitarian, oops, because they're brushes, but they're also really, really pretty, which made me feel good because I kind of lamented over like what stain to use, what sealer to use, how big to make the logo, because it's a lot of stress. It's the first time I've designed a brush from concept to finish kind of all on my own. It was something that I, Zeb helped out a little bit with, but I pretty much spearheaded the project. All right, so I just put my 16 over there. It's kind of it's kind of squished, but it looks fine. All right, so that one we're just going to let sit for a minute. I'm going to start doing this long one. Actually, we get asked a lot about our stencils, like what makes them different. We've talked a lot about how thick they are. Um, the, one of the reasons why they're so thick is because we want you to be able to do so many projects with them. I was reading a comment the other day and I won't mention the brand, but it's one of the thinner, um, like mesh type stencils and they stick to stuff, which is great. And somebody asked, uh, like how many uses? And she said 12, if you take good care of it. And I just thought, I am so glad, like we are looking at like different technology for stencils, but I always want to create something that's definitely going to last more than 12 uses for like, as far as like throwing things away and whatnot. It's just, I, I, I like to use things that stick around for a while. So that's one of the things that's great about our stencils is that they do hold up well. They're not finicky. They don't require a lot of special care. If they did, they wouldn't definitely not survive around here. All right, so eight is okay. right in the middle. I use this um, Croc Mini. This one actually was um, from a Croc that I got from Debbie from California. At that one. I think that turned out pretty cute. Can, can they see that? Yeah. So this is curved, but I'm, I'm going for it on here. I just love the black and the white too, because it just really sticks out and you can see the image really well. So I think I want to do a ruler across here. Do you have the, just the one to 12 there? Yes. You need the section. I'm trying not to touch my face because when you rub this, it gets the pigment on your hands because it's not sealed. I don't want black on my face. So I go all the way up to this first tick, yes? Mm -hmm. Yep, start it right there on that first line. Okay. So this is where, where I'm trying not to get other parts of the stencil where that 3 8 one would really shine. This half inch is, it's small enough, I could do it. Um, but if you really want like a very versatile... Um, I like the one inch, but if you're doing lots of detail or you want to do different shading. colors and shading, the half inch and the three eighths. On our Day of the Dead stencil, um, I saw somebody use it. I actually shared it in stories. I can't recall the um, retailer right now because it's not coming to me, but 
they shaded it with a bunch of like different colors and it looks so pretty. Do you need, if you do a lot of stenciling and over and over again, you do have to wash your stencil. And I say that because I stenciled my, um, what's that called? My hearth, oh, my fireplace yeah. hearth. And the stencil literally got smaller and smaller because the paint built up on it. And I realized that there was a change in my design over time. So I had to kind of re-stencil some of yeah, it. It's it still not perfect, yeah. but I was like, oh my gosh, it's because like some parts you completely dots. lost. It. Yeah. The little dots just kept getting smaller and smaller and non-existent because the paint was building up. So pro tip, clean your, clean your stencil. I mean, I did, I used it over and over again, like how many ever times. Oh, I, maybe should I put this on the top of this? Like my ticks aren't going all the way up. We'll see if it looks weird. I'm gonna have to repaint this. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna measure with it, but. All right. So you could, it's actual measurements. Well, I know, but I didn't put the ticks all the way at the top. I feel like that's got some good signage on it. I used two different stencils. The, the USA one came from this number three USA crock, meaning a three gallon crock. Um, and then I used the uh, Western Pottery Manufacturing Company, Denver, Colorado, number two would also go on a crock. And I just kind of, put it up underneath there and use the little spacer in between. But lots of fun you can do with these. Uh, you can really mix and match them and put your own signage. You could even, like Jamie was saying, where are those letters? Like these would fit on here. They're a little tall. You might get a bigger board. Like if you want to cut out your own board, do the stencil on it, and then you could do whatever you wanted underneath. You could even put like your shop name or your family name, whatever. Is that weird that I have it down below? No, I think it's fine. Yeah, right. I, I no moved the 11 no over. No one's gonna use that for a... Uh... <laughs> I moved the 11 over here, is that what you meant? Yeah. Like you offset it? Yep. So that way you know that the edge of, edge of this is 11 inches. What do you guys think? Let's see. Oh, uh, we're losing a little bit of this one. Angela says, saving up for this stencil. It's a good one. It's. We, we came out with a bunch of new ones this last Just release. Can't is hear Zeb. Can you... Is it still muted? Um, no, I'm not muted. Maybe someone's behind on the stream. Mm. Tina wants to know why I talk over Zeb. <laughs> have, Tina, have you ever noticed how Zeb talks over me? <laughs> yeah, just because, uh, you know, it goes both ways. <laughs> Usually because I'm working and talking and sometimes I think he's done talking because he took a breath, but I'm not watching. It's also, it Tina, I would challenge you since you brought it up to do a live stream, answer comments, do a craft and try to have a conversation with the person next to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sure, saying. <laughs> I'm sure she can. It's not that hard, but I do wind up talking over him sometimes and vice versa. It but that's, that's a lot of why. There's just a lot going on. I guess that is straight. I don't know why that looks a little crooked to me. But. Because you're not as dark in some spots. Oh. I'm just going to do true. a regular long ruler. We'll sand right, this I'm gonna down I'm going to call later. this good. I think this is really cute. I will distress it when we're not off ca on camera because I can distress this now, but I guess I can distress it in here. The black is really pigmented and it's a big mess. So there are... In, oh, that's cute. You like that? Yeah, good job. So it's a little dark. I want to do a... Um, Let's put some dark wax on it. Yeah. I want to do one with black. I think I'm going to go black lettering on this one because I do like the way the black looks on this antique one because I'm pretty sure most of them that I've found have black or red, sometimes orangey, like a burnt orange looking color on the, the ruler marks. Let's. Also, sometimes I'm way over here and I don't even, I don't even hear what's going on over there. Do do we have black or dark wax over here, Zeb? Um, here's so we're running low on a few supplies. We need to we've go been, to the shop. We've been, and... we've been using a lot of them up. Okay. Oh, All right, see. I'm just going to line this up. I love that Like these are usable rulers. You know what's funny? When I don't want the black wax, that's literally all I can the find. The only one you can find? Oh, I was going to go dark. Hold on. They can probably hear me fiddling. Yeah, they can hear you fidgeting around over there looking for the stuff. 
Oh, found it. All right. I wish they could see the mess that is this buffet right now. And yes, I know we need to be more organized, but I don't in, see another, that. in another life. Maybe when I turn 40, I'll be old enough to be organized. All right, <laughs> so I've got a 220 sponge here. And the white is going to powder and kind of gray out the black, which I like because it'll look like an old chalkboard. Oh, Seb, you want to touch that camera? Yeah, um, we're having all kinds of fun today. Anyways, you can see that kind of graded out, and then when you seal it, it gets a little bit darker, but it still kind of looks like not, a chalkboard, which is They're not going to be able to see that good. Show them again. Let's see. Tina laughed. Sorry, I do love you, too. We love you, Tina. I'm glad that you have a good sense of humor. It's necessary when watching this show. Okay, so I'm going to try black wax on this. You think that'll be all right? Yeah. I'm darken it up. Let me get. I've got to get a paper towel. I think it'll towel. really age it. I need to plug my. I did not plug my phone in last night, and it's almost dead. That's like rule number one. Like plug your phone in, brush your teeth. Go I to need bed. to buy, and I could, but and some of them don't work very good. But I need to buy those mats that the charging to ones. just charge in. All you have to do is set your phone down on it because I'm unlikely to when I'm exhausted or if I wake up in the middle of the night and start fiddling with my phone. That happens too. Well, the cord always falls down yeah. beside the bed and you're like, which one is it? There's eight cords up here. The struggle is real. I need to find my Apple Watch. It's MIA. If I don't find it, I'm going to have to to be Re sad and be like, Caitlin, can you talk to our rep for us? She, she helps us out. Yeah, I, it's insured. The loss is I'm not organized. All right, hopefully this doesn't totally mess this up, but I'm gonna use black wax on this. I mean, I guess I could use clear to pull it off. What do you think? No, it looks good. Cause it kind of makes the white look like it's not just sitting on top, like it's been there a while. Yeah, it just ages it. I'll show it to you guys up close. You can also, we could, you know, we could try just stenciling it and just sealing it with black wax like a faux stain with the wax. I've seen that. Like on the good. regular. Like on the raw wood. The raw wood. I like that. We'll try that I out. I like that look a lot, actually. I like it because less products. <laughs> like I, anything you can do to simplify your crafting. So, And I'm not putting the black wax on evenly on purpose because I don't want it to be evenly aged because that's not how natural age works. So that, oh, that did help a lot. You could also use dark wax. Black's just what I had handy. Can you see that? So I aged out the white a little bit. I think this is dry enough that I can sand this. Two fingers, right? Two fingers, that's really weird. Two fingers to scroll. It's just the the way it's set up. Oh, Jess, my shirt is available. If you go to jamierayvintage.com. She took it out of stock. I was like, is that your birthday shirt? It is. I, I, <laughs> I bought it for myself for my birthday. Um, if you go to JRB Closet or if in the search bar you just type in the word embroidered, all the new embroidered shirts will pop up. And this is a small, so I would say that they're definitely generously sized because I'm a solid 165 these days. <laughs> it's been a good summer, and it's more than good. This one, if you have a giant head, it is a little bit snug. I, I can, I mean, I can get it over my head, but it's not like huge around the neck. But I kind of like that sometimes because bending over on camera, it's nice because I don't have to worry about like. It might be time shirt. to wash these. My tick marks are getting a little, I'm having to really push down and I'm getting some bleed through because they're getting a little narrow. And this does go up to an XL. The tunics only went up to a large. For whatever reason, they didn't send me the XLs that I ordered. And I did order plus size clothes, um, but they haven't come in yet. This one, the manufacturer only went up to an XL. But I would say because it's oversized, an XL might fit up to a 2X, but I haven't tested that theory out. The small, if you normally wear a medium, um, you could probably wear a small in this. All right, I like it. It's all distressed. I'll just sand this all so it's even. And then this will just get probably some clear wax. The other thing that happens when you sand stuff is it smooths out brush strokes. So that's always good. 
This would be a great little back to school teacher gift, don't you think? Yeah, I think it would be awesome. Yeah, we will do. I'll do the other one and I will finish these for the little boys teachers. I'm going to paint the bottom. Where's the I just sent Redrick to school today with a um, gallon of hand sanitizer. It was on clearance at office for Staples in Orem. It was like three fifty for an well, entire he saw gallon. It. He's like, what is this for? I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take that to your teacher. It's been sitting there for three days. Well, he asked me for it. So I, when we went to go buy labels for the printer on Labor Day, Office Max, where we would normally pick up stuff. Well, we normally order on Amazon because it's cheaper. But anyways, our local Office Max didn't open until 10, so we drove to Orem and went to Staples, and I happened to see a gallon of hand sanitizer for $3.50. I was like, yes, please. It even had a pump on it. And I'm telling you what, I'm just so happy that the teachers are back and taking the kids. I will buy them 20 gallons of hand sanitizer if they need it. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I'm gonna put this over here to dry. I can't see what that can see. Oh, oh, it's focusing. Caitlin dropped a link to my shirt, and Kai says, uh, bless your heart sending teachers gifts. <laughs> really. when After a few months of homeschooling, I, and when COVID first happened, I'm all about the teacher gifts. I mean, they, and they were still even, oh, you brushed your face. Oh, did I touch my face? Dang it. You got black on it. Hold on. Well, when we, they first started, I mean, they're still doing the curriculum and it was still kind of crazy getting the kids home and trying to get them to do their assignments online and things like that. Yeah. I also like to give them just cash, like buy whatever you need. Oh, I did get a big black mark on my face. Yeah, you got it all over your face. It's okay. It's okay. I'm wearing enough makeup today. We're going to go hike right to a off. waterfall for her birthday. She loves the waterfalls. We're gonna go sit by the water. It might be cold, so you know I was gonna say maybe uh, wear a swimsuit underneath, whatever. But you just want to see cold. me in my swimsuit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a swimsuit underneath. I was actually wondering if I knew where my uh, tivas are because the girls borrow them, the black ones. So I was gonna wear those. Okay, so this is just a toothpaste an old toothpaste label uh, you can't see it very well my hand here but i'm going to use this whole label because it's got nice straight words along the bottom it doesn't have curved words like the colorado pottery one maybe i'll wait to give this to him until we get some of the new jrb beauty products and i just we are launching some new JRB products for the holidays. And I just got the order in and the scents are picked. And um, so we're just, I paid for it. So in, hopefully in another few weeks here, we'll have that order fulfilled. So maybe I'll just hold on to these because we got some good things coming, some smaller candles, some hard dish soap, and then also a unscented, but smells good because the natural scents and it just smell amazing, um, whipped body butter. I really am a fan of not giving overly scented lotions to people because you just never know what scents they like and if they're allergic. So I just like things that naturally smell good for, for gifts. Also, especially when Christmas rolls around, I would say it's weird when you get like Christmas flavor or Christmas scented lotions, but Christmas like on, flavored <laughs> Christmas scented lotions on Christmas, because then when you use them, it's like no longer Christmas anymore. <laughs> so you have to get, you have to be on your game if you're giving that out because you want to give it enough give time it to use it in the correct season. I don't know about you guys. I love Christmas and I love fall, but like on December 26th, I'm like, bring on spring. Too bad we usually have three months of winter left. That's when I go visit Debbie in California. Surprised I don't already have my plane ticket to Encinitas. I'm sad they're doing boot camp this week. Dion's out there. Zeb and I thought about like throwing a trip in to go see um, them, but we just have a lot going on. A lot of new projects launched, football season, and then we're finishing up all of our paperwork and stuff for the church. Got the last bit of items they requested submitted, so they done internal approval and now it's going to the SBA and our appraisal has been turned in. So we're just waiting on the SBA. I'm sure the SBA is going to ask for like 8,000 more things, but. 
That's plate. getting good. I'm going to show you guys like a grand reveal. All right. I'm just going to let this dry. I guess I could hang on it, huh? Ty says, first and second grade were my fave. Glad you have time to yourself. Oh, Kai used to be a teacher. That's awesome. No, I love my, my teachers. Our kids probably go to one of the, like, I don't know, I, one of the poorer schools just because we live in an old part of town. So there's a, a little bit of a mixed demographic. So I always like to give, because we've had so many years when it was a struggle for us to even provide the school supplies and the teacher said, that's okay. Somebody else stepped in. I always like to give extra supplies and cash so that way the teachers don't have to buy everything themselves <sighs> and it's a t it's a uh what's it called charitable donation too when you own your business so if you're looking for tax write-offs donate to your local school <laughs> yeah they never get enough funding anymore they never get enough funding Another thing that's really fun, you guys, if, you, if you're wanting to donate to a school, especially like high schools, contact the athletic department and see if there's a kid that maybe needs help paying their um, athletic fees and help out there because sports can get expensive. Well, and sports have been so good for our kids. Like Harrington would have been lost in high school without him. Oh my gosh! He, he tried drama, and that was good for about a year. I think he would. But have, it wasn't oops. like enough physical outlet. Like just he was just a real high energy kid, and he needed it. That's such a shame. You don't have funding. Oh, we have funding for sports and stuff. It's just it doesn't cover them a hundred percent. It covers like the bus to get them places. Yeah. Not not the funding that they would need, anyways. So. So our football coach broke it down one year for us the high school football coach he's to run his program it costs him like sixty thousand a year uh just to and the school doesn't cover that much because <laughs> they've got three teams about a hundred kids maybe more that maybe 120 that play football and it's, it's a lot yep Yes, it is. Uh, Laura Samaniego, how are your parents? Um, my parents are doing good. They're actually in pretty good health right now. Um, Zeb's, got... take, Zeb's taking him to the vein doctor um, tomorrow. You remember that, right? Oh, what time is that? Um, to <laughs> think 10, because I have a doctor's appointment at the same time. So. I mean, Thursdays are like our, um, do we film extra stuff today, or do we Get catch up done. on the rest of the stuff? Of I the love week? that you're doing a toothpaste one. That one's good. This is, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of overage on there. I could have taped it off and done a little bit better, but I think once we distress it or whatever we're doing, it's going to be good. All right. I don't know if I should do another one or if I should just respond to comments. You're doing so good there. I'm going to just show them this one and then we're going to go like get a treat and go to a waterfall. Okay. Should I paint one white? One of these? Yeah. Try one. Let's see it. Let's yeah. See how that does. Um, you know what though? I don't have. Can I have the, oh, the little stencils right here in front of me? I need another brush. It's white. So we're going to get a little gray on there for a little bit. That's going to be okay. My parents really love the pool. They sit by it a lot. Yesterday, um, Zeb at church works with the 16, 15, 16, 17 year old boys. And we had, and uh, Odilia is 16. So we had the girls like, and boys 15 and up over here swimming. And my dad just sat by the pool and watched them and a had a hamburger. I, I was kind of sad because I wanted to hang out with them, but I actually, I work with the little kids um, at church. And so I had a meeting for the primary aged kids. So I missed out on most of the the party, but my meeting was good. It's always good to get new inspiration. It was a, hey, if we're going to do an activity with the pool, we got to get it done because it's starting to get pretty chilly at night and I'm not going to pay $2,000 a month to heat it. We are going <laughs> to heat the pool and get a pool bubble. We're waiting to spend a lot of money till we get the church. So we're holding out. So I'm hoping we don't wait too long and, you know, with everything going back order on COVID, but it would be fun to have the kids back over here in the winter because you know, in Utah, swimming in the winter is a luxury. You know where this would be cool since I've done like this whole toothpaste thing is to hang it like in the bathroom or, or have it where you can To measure see up your toothpaste usage? I don't know. It just, it's, it's got like a lot of advertisement. It says for effectually removing 
uh, tartarus incrustations. Well, we have kids with tartarus incrustations. Ask our dentist and our recent dentist bills. <laughs> Yeah, this little, this little, uh, this is the three eighths one. I had to look to make sure uh, is perfect for this little work here. I'm not going over anymore. Uh, the half inch was just a little too big for okay, this really is detailed our, stencil. Um, birth, it is my birthday. Thank you. Lana says in our area we have project graduation. Many kids, oh, that need help with their gowns and stuff. That would be good. You know what they should do is just everybody should just turn their gowns in because what do you do with them? I think mine's still in a box somewhere. We actually have the senior where you can adopt a senior and I like to do that and um, you like find out what they like or whatever and you deliver it last year. This last year we were kind of crazy busy. I can't remember what we were doing. So I just found out their address and had Amazon deliver a lot of the seniors favorite things. Harrington, they started it the year that um, COVID happened. So in 2020, they did it because these kids didn't get to do like a normal graduation or whatever. So they did adopt a senior and it's fun. It's getting real serious. I had to put my leg on the stool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> give this back to you because you're stenciling so well. Like I did white on this one. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. And I have black on my fingers. So that's adding some authentic age to the, to the ruler. Or do you want me to do, oh, you already have a black brush here. Okay, I'm gonna use this first one. That's all right. So I just need to light. So I need to put this up at the top though, right? Like the ticks. Yeah, if you want. So it looks right. Okay. If you're joining us on Facebook, we'd love it if you would share this video out. If you're on YouTube, you can share it too, just by copying and pasting. And you can put it um, in an email text. You can put it in community if you have access to that, like if you have a YouTube page helps us a lot or just give us a thumbs up and subscribe that's always good helps our channel grow it's so fun you know it'd be fun to make ornaments with these rulers for teacher gifts too i mean do teachers ever get tired of gifts with rulers on them i don't know all right so you can see i'm gonna run it through here where i went over a little bit it is harder to do this little Stenciling with the fatter brush. Yeah. The little brush is easier. Oops. I'm going to let this dry and then give it a quick little sand. Do you have the little one over there? Can I have it back? Yep. It's right there. Ooh. Oops. Uh, that was a little juicy. I love signage. So this is, this is one of my favorite things. And I love rulers. So... True story. Zeb loves we ought to get some tools. when we get the when we get the church. We ought to put some with like uh, some of uh, like the church, like when it was founded. No, I the, see. You can see that I didn't miss kind of in the middle, but that's all right. I'll add some age. I do like the white and black. What do you think? Yeah. So what do we want to stencil on the side? Are you gonna just do something on the side? I've got all kinds of labels here. Um, we haven't used this one. Yeah, let's use this one. So the this pure cream. I'm just one. gonna use this kind of logo here for the creamery. You want to respond to comments? Thank you. Yeah, except for I don't know. You hit the new. Oh, Kai says, so excited about the church. We are too. I just keep praying for us. It's, we still have a long way to go. Uh, I The SBA makes me nervous because, you know, I love the, I love government employees, but sometimes they have to deal with government rules and sometimes it doesn't make sense. This. How did you pin this here, Jamie? Um, or did Caitlin do it? I think Caitlin did. Caitlin, can you unpin that comment? I don't know how I did it. If I did it, I don't know how I did it. Anyways, the government makes me nervous when I have to have their approval. But it's, I am grateful for the SBA because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it. Look how cute that is over to the side. All right, I think I can stencil something here on the bottom too. Thanks for sharing that, Jess. We appreciate that. It, it helps us so much to get the shares. All right, I'm just gonna do the part where it says pure cream. Okay. Because we oh, all know that. blurry. What happened? We're blurry. Yeah, hang on. It's probably because I was holding that ruler all close. Oh, that's cute. The pure cream. It's fun. I, I feel like I could make these all day. It's really therapeutic. I People think... are like, I can't believe you're going live on your birthday. I'm like, listen, this is fun. 
<laughs> we just got done with two weeks of doing our taxes for our loan. We are so... Our neighbor just walked by and her husband sprays our grass and the, and the house for uh, bugs and stuff. He's got a spraying company um, to fertilize it. And our sign was, they put a little sign in the front of the yard. It was a little crooked. She's out there fixing it. I love it. <laughs> Way to support your husband. All right. I could t put some greenery on each side, but I love it. Look at this one. So the white on black is cute too. I will paint the back of this and then I'll distress it. But I think that's, this is like a lot of fun. You guys. I do like how the end is. Go how it doesn't buy go all out the way. all the stir sticks and the rulers from your local hardware store and have some fun doing projects. When we get these all finished, I'll try to take a cute picture and stick it in community and up on Instagram and Facebook so you guys can see it. If you want to shop, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. Have Where's a great the tote? day. Where's the tote? The Where's... tote. Oh, it's back there. Show them the tote one more time before All right. I hit the end. One button. more time. Here's my tote that we made from one ruler cut up, and I'm going to make another and one. It's just like quarter inch board yeah. that was scrapped from building shelves and drawers. Here, I'll dance like Debbie. Okay.